this is Kevin Cross. Thanks for clicking on the review. I uh, I needed to pick up some new dice to play with a new group because I got hosed a couple times and one very unrealistic natural 20 happened. So I figured I might as well pick up some physical dice once again because I don't have uh, a set anymore. So I picked up a set on Amazon, the Wiz Dice GDIC 1000 100 plus pack of random polyhedral dice in multiple colors with free pouch set. Uh, the price was $29.99. Uh, I paid the prime uh, one day overnight, whatever. So uh, let's get into it. So here they are in a baggie. The other bags in here. Okay, so I'm just going to split them up by, obviously, size. So here I go. So now that they're all in individual sizes, Alright, so I'm just going to try and go by color and make full sets. So I just have these left over. So next I'll be doing a little bit of uh, just showing them off, I guess. These ones are the spares. I mean, the, the clarity on them. Not bad, like they're not cloudy. They're definitely factory firsts. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, they definitely are. The edges. A couple of the numbers could be printed on a little better.
of here. We'll go through the complete sets. Black and white. This shiny slime green and white. Black on yellow. I like these. These I'm very fond of. These are gold or bronze on it can't it almost looks glow in the dark but it definitely has a it's like a trans like a translucent white with sparkles it's a funky marble green look kind of thing to it yeah, it definitely looks marbled. I think you can see it the best on this one. If you look up here, I can see it the best on the seven, the transition between the seven and the three. I don't know if this will pick it up at all. Standard green. Green and white. Give that one to your friends. Black on white. Brown or white on brown with the marbly kind of looking. White on purple. My old set, white on see-through red. Standard flat red, white numbers. Marbly shiny blue. Translucent blue. And I don't know if this is really. Oh, that's great. Go away. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Do you see why I'm kind of torn on this color? It looks like flat blue, but at the same time, I could just call it a f like factory grossness, but I'm not sure. And once again, the randoms. Uh, apparently this is Imperial Gem. So. Let's see. Two sets of Imperial Gem. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, these ones look okay to me. I don't see any broken edges. Not, uh, I don't see a single broken one. And you guys can do the math on all these. So, if you enjoyed this, I don't know, like it, you don't, like, I know this is so niche. This is this uh, kind of kind of a very pointed review, um, but yeah, I don't see anything wrong with with these. If I have to pick up another one, I wouldn't say no to them. But 
There's always uh, Chessex Factory Seconds if you're into that. Because, I mean, on these two sets, one thing I, I am noticing is the numbers on... Here we go. I'm ready. Here. These numbers... much different from these numbers so I mean if you're used to classical ones this is looking like this is what you're gonna get um, I mean these ones look cla like the normal ones like I'm used to but I mean they're dice you know how to use them <laughs> 